What's up everyone? Welcome back to my recycling center. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new updates that have come out for this game. As well as I have been playing this off camera so we do have some experience as well as a lot of uh, money to upgrade our facility. So without further ado, let us hop into the game and let's continue our journey. Alright, so you see we have 425 satisfaction. $12,146. We got our first car coming in right now. Um, so, like I mentioned, there have been quite a few updates. So, cars do spawn in more frequently now, which is good. And also a bad thing at the same time, because in this episode, I was wanting to um, basically um, upgrade the shop and everything. But we got waste paper, and it looks like we have a bulk trash. I'm going to charge you for that, and there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and upgrade our shop here. So, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and grab construction waste. And we are also going to go ahead and grab scrap metal, as well as hazardous waste. So, now we'll have to come in here, and we will purchase our state license. Oh, we need 100 for that. Okay. So... We'll go ahead and grab a hazardous waste container. We will also have to grab... I'm going to grab a couple more of these. And yes. So let's go ahead and put the skip flat. And that will be for our construction waste. Go there. We'll have to do our hazardous waste container for hazardous waste. And I think we did something else. Uh, we don't need... We need to have a... Uh, probably another one of these. Skip flat. And this will be for... Not recyclables. But it will be for... Uh, construction waste. Once we get this vehicle, we'll go ahead and uh, complete... Uh, the, customize our facility a lot more. So we got a garbage bag, so easy stuff. A recycling bag, which is also some more easy stuff. And then a luggage, which is bulk trash, which I'm going to be getting rid of uh, this container here. Because we can go into it now, but then once I start putting stuff into it, uh, we cannot go into it for some unknown reason. I forgot to do the feed, but it is okay. So... What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and change the colors of our containers. We're going to make them be uh, teal containers. I'm not worried about signs whatsoever. So we're going to any containers that we have that are active. Uh, we're going to change the color of them. We're going to do that in our free time. And then we also have to uh, power wash. Oh, we are missing a couple containers here. What did we what did we get rid of? So skip flat oh waste paper. That's what we got rid of. Okay. Alright, we're good. So we do have different colors we can make our trash bins. Um, I think I'm going, what I'm going to do is, so this is a fridge, I think. Yes, this is a refrigerator. So household appliances. And that is a cardboard box. So that can go into waste paper. And that's all you got. All right. So, since this is recyclables, we'll go ahead and set the custom color to be green. Because, you know, green for recycling. Waste paper. Uh, honestly, I don't know if we're able to do it this way, though. We might not be able to. So, custom color as well. We'll set that. Why is all... Oh, because if we... So, if we set the custom color, we have to... That is ridiculous, though. Okay, so we can actually um, have that be, you know, multiple colors. 
All right, so you have a bunch of buckets with paint residue, so that's definitely hazardous waste. That's what I figured. Now, I don't know if we charge them for that. I would assume we do. So we're just going to try to and see what happens. Okay, so we do charge them for that. Perfect. Yeah, right. So we got that one. The household appliances. So this one will just need a custom color of that. Perfect. Construction waste. Custom color. We'll just make all of them the same paint job. So we don't need two for construction waste. So we'll remove that container. Hazardous waste. Custom color. We'll set the custom color. And we do have to power wash all of these as well. So we'll do that in the video. Um, but now I'm just kind of customizing all my stuff. I didn't want to do this off camera. So you are a couch. We got a long glass clock as well. And then another long glass clock. And you're all good. All right. So we got you as a custom color timber. Grab a custom color for that. Perfect. You. Custom color. I think we got you, yep. Bolt trash. Grab a custom color. And then the skip medium for residential waste. Custom color. And we'll also just go ahead and grab a small and large signs for uh, these containers here. So we got 10 satisfaction points until we can get our trailer thing. So this is a cupboard. So this is going into here. Concrete rubble. This is a definite construction waste. Has to be. That's what I figured. All right, cool. So you are a. I think you're the. I think you're a fridge. So wherever household appliances went. Your household appliance as well. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay, something flung out of the truck. Gotta love it. What are you? You're a cabinet, so you go into here. You're also concrete rubble. You are concrete, or uh, what you might call it, construction waste. Got a cardboard box that's not there anymore. That is over here, and a couch. So we had a cardboard box. Oh, so we charge for construction waste. Okay, cool. I honestly did not know that we charge for construction waste. I do now. All right, so nice trash type. Waste paper. Grab some large signs. Recyclables. And construction waste. Alright, so all my containers now have large signs, so I know exactly what they are. We lost some satisfaction on that, but it is what it is. There's another box right here that we apparently missed. I don't know how we missed it, but we did. So you are a toilet bowl. So I'm assuming you are construction, even though you technically would be household appliance. Oh, that is now appliance. Man, I, I'm, I'm mad. Seriously? 
Because that used to be waste paper for the longest time, and now it's household appliance. Throw you into the one that compacts. You're a bag. I think you are bulk as well. So we have a video cassette. Which that just goes in there. A garbage bag. A microwave oven, which is a household, a small household appliance. And then another table. That's everything. Get you your fees and you can get out of here, buddy. All right. So construction waste can stay there. I want the household appliances to be right next to each other. So you will be a skip flat for household appliances. You are a skip medium for recyclables. So yeah, I want all that stuff right next to each other. So you got a bunch of bags. We'll grab the cart here. This is all recyclable, ain't it? Oh, this is all garbage. Except for this one. Oh, no, it's garbage. So you guys can see the uh, customers do come more frequently now, which is nice. That way you're not sitting here waiting for like three hours on someone to show up after like two cars have gone by. All right, so this is a household appliance. Which goes right here. You are also a household appliance. Perfecto. I'm gonna have a lot of garbage bags, my guy. Wonder if he doesn't have like residential pickups, so that's why he takes them here. I don't know. I wanna know where you get like blue garbage bags though. I I'd like to figure that out. All right, we'll charge you your fees and you are good to go. So, uh, while playing this, you know, in my free time on my own to get satisfaction and all that and money, so we'll go ahead and actually real fast, we'll grab the license. I don't think we need anything else. I do want to get a drum compactor. So we'll get this for uh, bulk trash. And uh, we will get rid of the... Um, yeah, the compactor we'll get rid of for right now. And this we'll get rid of for right now. The drum compactor and we will put that over here hello how's it going obviously we're gonna change the color of it too but we're gonna grab this guy real fast all right so you got cardboard which is this one go ahead and grab the cart just make this easier on both of us all right, so that's an air conditioning unit that's going to go on household appliances, cardboard. Concrete rubble, we'll wait for that. That we're not taking. So all bulk trash is going into that rubble now. This is a bulk trash, which... From what I've been told, we can... So, supposedly some items do have multiple spots they can go. And I found this out actually in YouTube comments. So, like, that cabinet we can put under bulk as well as timber. And that's concrete, so that is the construction waste. And then that is cardboard, which goes under waste paper. So, like, if you guys remember that mounted animal goes under uh, bulk or not bulk a uh, residential waste it's 
supposedly it can also go under bulk trash or not bulk trash a uh, timber because it has timber on it and anything that is wooden can actually go in timber like cabinets and all that as well as it can go under bulk which is uh, interesting to see that we can do two things i feel like that would be hazardous but we're not gonna take it okay so we still do the denial deny um whatchamacallit so drum compactor bulk custom color we'll make it our same color big sign perfect and we'll grab this which is the compactor container and that'll be for scrap metal because I didn't think we had anything for scrap metal we did not Now I don't know how the drum works, but we'll find that we'll find that out here soon. So you're recyclables. You're actually just right here, so I'm not too completely worried about grabbing the cart. So also we can now skip cars if like let's say something glitches into the car or something, we can actually skip them so that we don't lose satisfaction or money. Uh, that is also included in one of the new updates. I believe there was like a couple small updates since the release on the first and the last time we actually played it. So you guys saw the trailers. Uh, cars are coming more frequently. Um, the all the Audi vehicle has been reworked as well because remember if a lot of stuff got stuck in the trunk that we couldn't see. So all of that got fixed as well. So now also we can skip vehicles if we need to. Um, we also have trailers. We can have a personal sign with the company name as well if we wanted to. But we can also clean our containers now. Now, if you remember, this was actually in the very first episode, even before uh, the game was released. We used the power washer like one time. And that was it. Now, we actually have the power washer again. And we can power wash our containers, get them clean, and earn satisfaction points for it. Um, and I only think the power washer comes out. So no progress will be stored. So we can't power wash and get all these at the same time. But as you can see, this guy does have a trailer. So we have waste in the uh, back of the truck there as well as in the trailer. So let's go ahead and grab our cart here. All right, so we have a radiator, which is a definite scrap. We got a table and a couple of, uh, that's garbage. So we'll just go ahead and throw that into here for right now. And then you're just a couple recycling bags. So we're not worried too much worried about you. And these are what? These are recyclables. right perfecto we got one more i think i don't think anything fell off the truck yep nope did not all right so let's grab these cardboards put them in here as well move this a lot closer to the uh, truck here now the only downfall with this cart is stuff does glitch if you pile it on too high so it'll start glitching, it'll jump like that, stuff will fall off of your cart. Even while you're moving, it'll fall off. So you gotta be watch out, you do gotta watch out for that. Make sure that you get everything so that you don't get dock satisfaction points. But there are three different trailer models that were added into the game. Um, for this, that's, I believe that's the last of the cardboard. Nope, that was not. I believe that's the last of the cardboard. Yep, so his truck is now empty. Um, so, scrap metal right here. I feel like that could also be classified as construction waste, although I'm not 100% certain. Alright, so he's all good. Let's go ahead and grab him, charge him his fees, and get him out of here. 
So we do have this. We have Yo Adrian State License to Process Trailer Trash, which is a license. Um, so I think this right here is the new sign. So wooden company sign at entrance. So we have that now, as well as our license over there and our license over here. Um, so we do have that as well. Let's actually see how this works. I want to know how, so does it actually do anything? Oh, so there is, it does do something. Okay. I want to check out the comp compactor thing on that real fast before we do anything else. All right, well, good thing we're grabbing some more bulk out of here. Well, what was that be under? Folding screen. I don't know what that is. Is it construction waste? Wow, so, okay. So, scrap metal. Okay, that's interesting. Was not expecting that. But okay, that works, I guess. So this is uh this is con or er, construction waste. We got a box which goes under waste paper. What else we got? A metal barrel. That might be scrap metal. Perfect. Metal barrel. Also scrap metal. Might have to have that compactor run as well. Uh, so your construction. You are also a metal barrel. So you see there where it says, uh, well, I guess you can't do it with something in your hands, but, uh, so you come up, it says skip customer. I don't think we charge for scrap. Oh, we do charge for scrap. Okay. So let's go see what this actually does. Oh, so we actually have to sit here and watch it do its thing. Or do we control it? Well, so how do we use it then? Drum forward back, S and W. Ah, so you move it with the mouse. That is, uh, that is actually pretty freaking cool, not gonna lie. That is pretty freaking cool. So this is all hazardous waste. So let's grab our cart so we're not... Let's actually get this in real fast. Get that going just before another customer shows up and they have more uh, scrap metal. Alright, so you are all hazardous waste. I don't know if we're supposed to be doing that with scrap metal, but I mean, it is what it is. You are hazardous. You are hazardous. Hazardous. And come on, you're going to come. There we go. Hazardous. All right. So we charge her for that. Ten bucks a piece. And there we go. All right. Wow, look at those barrels. Those got smashed. I don't think they can smash any more than they already are. So I think they're just going to sit there and glitch and just get shoved back. Not a lot of trailers today. Only have had one trailer so far. Table. Okay, you're definitely bolt waste. That's all you got? Alright, cool. All right, let's just go ahead and start power washing.
I think this is going to be the most tedious part because you can power wash all you want, but let's say a customer comes in and if you, you hit the escape button to quit cleaning, it does not save your progress. So do you want to cancel? No progress will be stored. So basically you're back to square one with the power washing. Oh, here's a trailer. Oh, we got a lot of chairs. Which that could go under timber as well as bulk waste. Kind of makes no sense, but I mean, it is what it is. So we can add that under one or the other. Oh, we got a lot of bulk waste today. We got plastic, boxes. Got a lot of chairs. I wonder if... Do they have stuff in their trunk too? Oh yeah, they got stuff in their trunk. Alright, let's go ahead and grab the easy stuff first. That, the microwave oven, which is going to go into the appliances one. A plastic bucket, which I think is bulk waste. Yep. Which doesn't make any sense because it's how tiny it is. It could just go under uh, residential. But it does not. Let's go ahead and put these in here first. Because this is going to... I don't understand how you have so many plastic containers. I really don't. And we have all those chairs. Come on. All right, now let's go ahead and grab those chairs. I think it'll be easier to put the cart over here and just grab them from over here. I don't think we're going to be able to put all the chairs in this cart at once. Maybe if we're lucky. I don't think we will. So let's grab this one. And this one. All right. Okay. Oh, oh yep. I knew it. I knew it. I told you stuff does fall out of this cart. And then it also glitches a little bit to where it just keeps going very slow. So let's go ahead and grab these chairs. I think there was, yeah, there was two of them. Perfect. I love how it like bounced off of that uh, sign over there. That was cool. Yep, there we go. Oh, you didn't make it in. You, you, you. Get in there. Where'd you go? Come here. Where do you think you're going? You ain't gonna escape the crusher. All right. She is good. I don't think she has any fees, so we're good. Let's do this one more time because I think this is actually pretty freaking cool. I don't think the plastic totes break at all. Chair does. I think this is actually pretty freaking cool. All right. Let's go ahead and grab our next customer here. And I think this is going to be the end of our... Uh, showcase of the new update all right we got some recyclables we got some more chairs that are going up and out of here
We got our first look at scrap metal, hazardous waste, and a little bit of construction. Not much, but a little bit of construction. We still have quite a few left to go, which we'll showcase off here uh, soon. Once I start playing this a little more and get more um, money and stuff, we'll go in here and grab our garden glass and electric, which we'll have to get uh, these two containers for glass and garden. And we've got hazardous, so yes, let's go ahead. She doesn't have any fees, so she's all good. But guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for this episode. Really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am. It's one of those where it's nice to play in your free time if you're bored and, you know, it's just a nice little stress relief. At least in my, at least for me it is. I don't know about you guys, but it is for me. Got all those paint buckets down there. I'm, too, I'm unsure what all this is for, but, uh, yeah. But if you guys enjoyed, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm not too sure exactly how many more updates there will be for this game. Considering the fact I don't think there's any more for uh, garbage trucks. This is a pillow, so this would be... Okay, I was going to say, that should just be regular... What? You let me put it in there the first time. I'm so confused. It let me put it in there the first time, and then it's like, nope, nope, nope. But uh, yeah guys, make sure you follow me on all my social media. Everything is listed in the description down below. As well as the join the Discord server if you have not already. I'm trying to get it more active in there, so uh, definitely join if you are if you have a Discord account and you're looking to chat with me, that's the best place to actually reach me or at my uh, email. Also, there is a donation link. Uh, it's buy me a coffee in the description as well. Not asking for donations. If you guys want to, you can out of the kindness and generous of your heart. But you don't have to. I guess we shouldn't have charged her any fees for the pillows. Even though one pillow did go into the trash. But it is what it is. And uh, yeah, guys, I will catch you here on the next video. Take care, everyone.